there is something very exciting happening with this privacy cryptocurrency. Added to its supreme privacy and supreme security, there's going to be a whole other level of flexibility. Interested in passive income? Check out this cryptocurrency savings scheme from Axion. Get a 10% bonus when you use my link and purchase through the Axion auctions. Then stake, save, earn, and spend. Link in the description below. Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. This is a chart of the most secure and private cryptocurrency going, at least in my opinion, more secure and more private than Grin and Beam and Monero. They're all great projects, but this one is the most secure and the most private of any cryptocurrency project. And it's about to undergo an halving in, the, in, in a few days. In this video, I'm going to go through the monthly report for number, November 2020. Now, before I do so, if you're interested in privacy, then I suppose you're kind of interested or supportive of censorship resistant platforms. Now, I am being shadow banned on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. So, I don't show up in people's algorithms like I used to. I'm getting a third of the views that I used to before YouTube took it upon their goods, took it upon themselves to delete 160 plus of my videos and my channels never returned to what it was before. Now, what I'd like you to do if you're on YouTube, come over to BitTube, subscribe to me on BitTube. At time of recording, I have 792 subscribers. I'd love to get that up to 800 subscribers this weekend when this video is going to go out. Also, you can register for airtime rewards. Airtime pays you just for the time you spend on the internet. Now, a little bit every day. I have accrued 1,200, over 1,200 tube coins over the course of a year. And that's just recently doubled the value, the monetary value of it, because tube has doubled. Tube is a privacy coin, by the way. There's also a VPN. And you can see, since I've started using the input VPN, my airtime goes to pay towards the VPN. I shall have links to that in the description below, and I'm shortly going to be doing and posting a video about to how to register for airtime. And so come over to BitTube. I post my videos on BitTube first. You can also find me on Library and on BitChute, and I'm still on YouTube. Whichever platform you're watching this on, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. If you already hold the privacy coin that I'm going to be talking about in this video, then please, in the comments below, give me the ticker symbol for that privacy coin. And if you hold another privacy coin, which you think is better than this one, please place the ticker symbol for that privacy coin in the comments below. And let me know why you think it's more private. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT. Join my official Telegram announcements channel. All the links in the description below. There may come a time where you will find that I am not on YouTube because YouTube has censored me and many, many other YouTubers. So the using the Telegram channel is a way that I can keep connected with those who enjoy the sort of work that I put out. So what is this privacy coin more secure and more private than any other and why? Well, this is Pirate Chain and I am one of the crew at Pirate Chain. The ticker symbol for Pirate Chain, by the way, is A triple R. And why is it the most secure and the most private? Well, one way you can find out if you're new to this is by listening to this po this podcast that I recorded with Tom Luongo. It's on his website, goldgoats, tomluongo.me. And uh, it's, gonna, it's on his YouTube channel as well. I'm going to link to his website. And in here, he and I discuss privacy cryptocurrencies, including Monero and a little bit about Mimblewibble. But mostly it's about Pirate Chain, why Pirate Chain is the most important. Now, Tom is a big fan of Pirate Chain. He's also a big, big fan of Komodo. Pirate Chain is a project that's born out of the Komodo ecosystem. You can find out more from this podcast that I did with Tom. So this is the daily chart for Pirate Chain. And here, when they had their first halving, there was a big pump and dump. And also here, there was a halving in February. But what happened shortly after that halving, somebody hacked an exchange and sold loads and loads of coins, so the price didn't really go up. Here, Jeff Berwick of Dollar Vigilante, he recommended Pirate Chain to his, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of Dollar Vigilante uh, subscribers and the price shot right up. Now they tend to be, in my opinion, long-term holders. And Jeff Berwick, he recommended Monero when Monero was mere pennies. Now I'm not saying that Pirate Chain is gonna go up to the price that Monero was, but I think it's significant that a group that's into hodling and a guy like Jeff Berwick, whose team, who is himself so smart and supportive of 
cryptocurrencies as I his team have recommended this project. Now, Pirate Chain is about to have a halving in a few days' time, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But what I can see, I've drawn some sticks here, and here we have resistance, upper resistance. Here we have support. Price seems to be bouncing up and down here. If this forms a, an ascending triangle, then we can look towards a breakout up above. But generally, it's been moving in this price range since the bottom when it had was about five cents, and it's currently at nine cents. So if you bought here, then you doubled your money in a matter of a couple of months. Now, why is Pirate Chain the most private and secure cryptocurrency going? Well, every single transaction, every single peer-to-peer -peer transaction is completely, completely invisible. You can't see nothing. It's a proof-of-work coin. The coins are mined on the Equihash algorithm. You can see that transaction for auditing purposes. It goes into the first wallet, so you can see that. But after that, you can't see anything. So there's no data on the Pirate Chain blockchain to analyze. It has the largest anonymity set of any privacy cryptocurrency. And what that means is if you take a, an example, say the anonymity set is 10 transactions a day, and most privacy coins have optional privacy, or there's some data you can work out, then it's easy through a process of elimination to work out what's going to what and where address, which addresses and stuff. However, if you have an, an anonymity set of a thousand, that requires a whole lot more work. And of course, if that anonymity set is completely invisible, you don't even know how many transactions are happening because there's no data on the blockchain that would allow you to ascertain that. Well, it's just virtually impossible to find out what's going on. Now, the Mimblewimble coins, they are also completely private, have nothing going on on their blockchains. You can't see anything. However, they are not resistant to 51% attacks. Pirate Chain is because every 10 minutes or so, I think it's every 10 minutes, the transactions are notarized onto the Komodo blockchain, and then all those transactions are notarized onto the Bitcoin blockchain. So you need 51% of the computing power for Pirate Chain, 51% of the computing power for Komodo, and 51% of the computing power for Bitcoin, and that ain't going to happen. Because if any player's got 51% of the computing power of Bitcoin, then why bother with Komodo and Pirate Chain? Just get the Bitcoin. This is the website for pirate.black. I shall link to this and everything else in the description below so you can find out more, do your own due diligence. And this is the monthly report. Now, this report was written by one of the community. Pirate Chain is a decentralized community-based project. There's no company behind it. There's no foundation behind it. Nothing like that. It was fair launched over two years ago, released the algorithm. People started mining it. And then people who are interested got involved. And I'm one of those people that are interested. So if you're interested in getting involved in a decentralized community project uh, with a fair launch, no dev fund, no pre-mine, nothing like that, no fund for the team, then this could be a possible project for you to participate in. On October 21st, Pirate Chain announced that Forge has joined the project as a new core developer, an accomplished developer with extensive experience in the cryptocurrency space. He has worked in the development of Zero for the past two and a half years and participated heavily in the core code, including the implementation of master node technologies for the Zero project. Additionally, he wrote the transaction consolidation and reduction functions to optimize wallet size which were later added to Pirate. One of the most impressive contributions of the project was he wrote most of the code for the Zeroverse multi-coin wallet from scratch. Now, I don't know much about Zero. In fact, I don't know anything about Zero, so you'll have to look into that. And I don't know much about coding in tech, just like I don't know how the tech of a fridge works. I do appreciate the outcome of that tech. So with a fridge, I appreciate that I can keep my food stored cold. And with Pirate Chain, while I don't understand all the tech, I appreciate the outcome of the tech, which is a private and secure cryptocurrency. Forge has already accomplished a host of wallet improvements for Pirate that were developed months ahead of Zcash. One of his first tasks is to continue further enhancement of our wallet functions. Specifically, he's creating a strategy to archive a list of wallet transactions so that transaction history is not lost when using the transaction reduction function. By the way, I'm not reading every single word of this, right? I'm picking up highlights. So if you want to go through it yourself, I'll link to it in the description below. Forge believes that big tech and the financial co sectors are too close and have too much power. I, I, the average person has no financial privacy from both corporations or governments. With Forge's contribution, development of Pirate Chain's core code will be greatly enhanced, which will in turn accelerate the creation of an expanded suite of privacy sentry products for the everyday user. He said, he said, Pirate is undervalued and unappreciated. I'd like to make Pirate a top tier coin. There is something very exciting happening with this privacy cryptocurrency. Added to its supreme privacy and supreme security, there's going to be a whole other level of flexibility. Wrapped R. 
This project has been in secret discussions for several months. It's been revealed to the community that a project to wrap R into an ERC20 token named WR Bar is underway. This exciting project will take several months and will keep the community updated on the pro project. Stay tuned. So what that means is you'll be able to send R from your wallet onto the Ethereum blockchain where it will get wrapped into WAR and then you can move it about on the Ethereum blockchain and then should you wish to at some point you can move it back into a pirate chain address. What that will mean is you could use WAR to purchase ETH or ERC20 tokens or you can use ETH and ERC20 tokens to convert them into WAR and then go and turn that into R and have that in your wallet. By the way, you can still do that conversion if you use the Turtle Dex network or the Polarity Exchange Dex network. You just don't have WAR, but you can do those sorts of swaps on those DEXs. Thank you, Doablo Pirates Discord now has a new bot that rewards community members that proclaim their love for Pirate. Get more Pirate. Any Pirate that adds the symbol $R to their Discord username will be eligible to request a monthly reward bounty for proudly supporting their favorite project. Just go to the TipBots channel in Pirate Discord and enter R bounty to receive instructions. So if you add the phrase R to your Discord username, you can then request a monthly bounty of 5R. Pirate Chain Halving, the most private cryptocurrency is soon to undergo its next halving. At the right time of writing, the event is anticipated to occur around Wednesday, December the 2nd. That's when the mining reward will be reduced by 50%. So it's currently 64 coins are born at every block and it's going to reduce to 32. And there's a halving at every 270 days, roughly. So hurry up and fill your bags. Now, if you want to understand about halvings or halvings, then I'll link to this article in the description below, which explains the implications of it and what actually goes on when a coin halves. There are the weekly meeting recordings, and you can link to them through this, and you can also join them. Go join the Discord group and get more information about them. There is a new exchange, Polarity Exchange, lists R, and it's not just another exchange. Polarity Dex is a unique exchange that boasts several special features. First, it is a stable coin exchange platform where all base pairings are to USDT instead of BTC. This is an intentional design to provide the familiarity of trading in traditional finance. Next, all network fees will be covered by a sponsorship from crypto brokers. Importantly, this limits user fees to a fixed one US penny for all transactions. No matter how large the transactions or how small they are, all it's gonna cost you is one US penny. Now I have an interview with Nathan from Polarity Dex, and you can find that interview in my playlists. Now, Pirate Chain is a founding member of the BPSAA, the Blockchain Privacy Security and Adoption Alliance. It also includes Sentinel with a decentralized VPN, Turtle Network with their Dex, Ergo, Ether One, Komodo, and their newest member is Burstcoin. I actually have an interview which is going to be on my channel real soon with one of the devs of Burstcoin, which is one of the oldest projects going. So please do subscribe. Hit the click the notification bell so you know when that video is going to come out. And there is another announcement in, imminent of another member. And looky here, it says TBA to be announced, another member perhaps. Mm. And what these projects do is they collaborate in order to further blockchain privacy, security, and adoption, like the name says. Now, Burstcoin have their own DEX called BT DEX, Pirate Chain is proud to provide you with another decentralized exchange listing. Burstcoin BT Dex. Burstcoin devs recently appeared on Pirates Weekly Meeting to talk about BT Dex, and you can listen to the interview here, linked through the article. BT Dex is a decentralized exchange system running on the Burst blockchain. It implements a unique non custodial exchange method for cryptocurrencies and conventional fiat currencies based on block talk smart contracts and Burstcoin on chain encrypted messages. The exchange method is serverless, and fees are distributed among trade token holders. And you can find out more about that in my interview with the Burstcoin dev. There have been improvements to the Pirate Chain mobile wallet Skull Island, significantly improved speed. The back end was swapped. The original version used Bitcore, which wasn't efficient. It was swapped for a modified Light Wallet back end. So instead of connecting to the Bitcore API, it connects to the Light Wallet API. A README is also included now to assist with building the app. And the repo for the back end is linked here. And if you want to download, you can also download it through the pirate.black website. There's quite a few wallets you can use it on.
Back in July, Uplock held a community vote contest to win an independent in-depth project research report. The pirate community showed up and won that contest. Not only did Pirate Chain win, it won against notable names such as the DeFi project brand Protocol. And Uplock have now published their report on Pirate Chain. It's a project that focuses on providing privacy and anonymity through the ZK Snarks technology and security through a delayed proof of work protocol by Komodo. And I shall link to their report in the description below. The research report does not disappoint. It includes live up-to-date data, technical and fundamental analysis, and a comprehensive summary of Pirate Chain. So you should read that report, listen to this video, subscribe, comment, like, and listen to my interview with Tom Longo, rather his interview of, of me. But look at this. Look at this when Pirate Chain was just a penny. Those were the days I should have filled my bags more. You want to find out more about the project to bring the most anonymous cryptocurrency into the Ethereum platform? Watch this interview where Captain Drake shares some details about WAR with First Make Crypto Rich. Mm, best privacy coin gets wrapped. What a great title. What a great thumbnail. Don't you just want to watch that video? Check out the latest video on Pirate Chain's TikTok. Now here are new retailers that accept Pirate Chain. You can find them through the Amada store. Conclave, an advisory consulting and legal representation business based in Colombia. They take Bitcoin, ETH, and they take R as well. New Pirate Chain swag. If you want to get yourself some hats and sweatshirts and a little sticker for the back of your mobile phone. And this Pirate Chain report came out on Thanksgiving Day. And here's a message expressing gratitude to all fellow pirates around the world. We're grateful to have you on board. What an inspiring and spirited community we have built around privacy, financial freedom, and love of pirate. I am thankful for the opportunity to be a part of the pirate family and thankful for the opportunity to play a small part amongst the many pirate team members tirelessly volunteer their time from website updates to code upgrades, business and social media outreach. Every day and perhaps every minute, there are pirates somewhere in the world working hard at advancing our, our martyr. Thank you. As we reflect on our family, I want to take the occasion to also bring up an observation. As you know, Pirate Chain is built on ZK Snark privacy technology. Par for the course of cryptocurrency tribalism, there are some who have questioned the privacy protocol. I have noticed other privacy coins switching protocols. Pivx's latest privacy protocol, Shield, is a ZK Snark based algorithm. Pivx continues to offer optional privacy. Probably of greater import is the use of ZK Snark with ZK rollups to provide scalability in Ethereum 2.0. From third parties, Aztec is a ZK, I don't know what that sign is, two rollups project built to bring second layer privacy solutions to Ethereum. Aztec, interestingly, employs a double iteration of zero knowledge proofs, combining ZK rollups for scalability and ZK snarks for privacy. That's right. And if anyone reminders, and if anyone remembers the notorious JP Morgan, their internal blockchain also uses ZK snarks. As you can see, ZK snark is an increasingly widely adopted protocol, and I think it's a validation of pirate chain supreme privacy. ZK Snarks is pretty much accepted as the gold standard in privacy for cryptocurrencies. Speaking of anonymity sets, every privacy technology hides transactions. Monero's maximum anonymity set is 11. Lelantis' maximum anonymity set is capped at 131,000. Pirate Chain's anonymity set at time of writing this, 309,211. At time of recording, the total ZZ shielded transaction, 310,628. And if you want to get some R after having done your own due diligence, it's available from these exchanges, Tradeogo, Coinex, Bitcoin.com, Exchange, Balaxi, SafeTrade, Altili, P2B, P B2B, Graviex, and from the decentralized exchanges of Polarity and Turtle Dex. Comments, questions, let me know in the description below. Uh, do you have R? Remember, if you have R, and you think it's the most private of cryptocurrencies going, put the ticker symbol in the description below. If there's a comment, it makes a difference to me. If you think so, there's some other privacy cryptocurrency that's more private, put the ticker symbol, or as private, put the ticker symbol of that and tell me why you think that one's more private or as private. And between now and when I see you next, 
please keep filling your bags and your pockets with cryptocurrency profits. This is Crypto Rich signing out saying, <coughs> Pirate Chain is proud. Pirate Chain is provide. Pirate Chain is pro. Pirate Chain. <laughs>